Lights. Look, let's get right to it. So in 2018, PRS and myself released my signature model, the Silver Sky. And Silver Sky model was meant to recreate all the magic and sound and feel of a vintage guitar. And now I'm really excited to show you the SE, which is a guitar that nails, I think, the sound and feel of that Silver Sky core model. Uh, the SE is the more affordable and therefore more accessible version of PRS guitars. And it's something that Paul and I had always talked about doing uh, people had talked about wanting it for pretty much since the original came out. And I'm really, really excited to show you a guitar that is more accessible, but doesn't penalize a guitar player for not having the core US model. Let's talk about intonation on this guitar. Tuning is really, really important, obviously. And PRS guitars are known for really, really good intonation. And it was important that the Silver Sky SE keep that same integrity going in terms of tuning. And to prove it, I'll play the beginning of one of my songs, Shot in the Dark, which was very hard to record because it's hard to keep it in tune because there's so many piano-like chords, but check it out. sort of like piano-like, and the way you can prove that is do the whole thing in octave higher. Or I'll do it in C, because I'm running out of room. Sort of proves that it really keeps those fine sort of piano-like chords. all the way up and down the neck. The neck carve still has that beautiful vintage feel that I love in a neck. It's sort of C-shaped, but it also has this modern thing that's just really even up and down the neck. And I sort of play based on the feel of a guitar. If a guitar feels good, I'll keep playing, I'll keep playing it. And a lot of my ideas come from just having my hand up and down the neck. And I'll watch TV or something and I'll put it on mute and just... supposed to play a guitar after all it's playing and this is a really really fun guitar to play on I've had it for a month or two now and I actually just sit down and play it and lose time you know and that's that's the sign of a great instrument is if you can just stare off into space and not realize it's been an hour that you've been playing this is actually one of those guitars that even if you have US versions of guitars and, and, and you're you know you got a nice little guitar arsenal you could pick up an SE and bond with it and go well I'm, I'm gonna throw that in the three pickups are voiced the same. It's the same thing as the uh, core model Silver Sky. And that's really, really nice when you move across pickups. Uh, we've all played some guitars that have different voices. Some are louder, some are quieter, some have stranger dynamics. This is really, really even across the board because they're all three the same pickup. They're just in different spaces under the string which give a different sound. And so as you're playing, Sounds like me on an old guitar, on a Silver Sky, and it sounds like me on an SE. Because all the same electronics, all the same vibe, made it through the process of making a more accessible guitar. <laughs> So 
when I was growing up, if I were buying a guitar that wasn't the US standard version, I felt sort of like I had the color palette taken away from me. And that's why it was really important to introduce the SE in four really beautiful colors. Uh, stone blue, which is the one that I'm holding, evergreen, moon white, and dragon fruit. Uh, it's really important also when it comes to a more affordable guitar, the fret work doesn't hurt you as you move your hand up and down. I think for many, many years, we've all had to sort of accept that a less expensive guitar was going to hurt a little bit when we ran our hands up and down the neck. And in this case, it is as well dressed and set up as any of the guitars I play on stage. For 20 years now, parents have come up to me asking me what electric guitar I think they should buy for their kid. And I never really had a good answer. I always felt either guilty for recommending something that was too expensive or guilty for recommending something that I didn't think was very high quality. And when you're beginning to play the guitar, it's sort of a daunting task to begin a new hobby or a new passion. And if the guitar isn't set up right, I think sometimes people don't understand their guitar is not set up right and just think guitar is too hard. I know there are some people in this world who've put a guitar away because they said, guitar is just not for me. But what they really had going on was that the guitar wasn't set up in a way that was comfortable to play. And so I was always stuck in between these two answers. It's going to be too expensive or it's going to be sort of crummy and it's not going to give someone the right kind of playing experience to begin playing guitar. The Silver Sky SE is now the answer I've been looking for because it's affordable enough, but it's also going to stand up against the test of time and a lot of playing. When I first started playing electric guitar, I had a $99 guitar and the tuning pegs would fall out and the strings would break and I fought through it, but it was tough and it probably would have done me some good not to have it be so tough. And so the SE really brings the same experience of being a guitar player that I have to someone who just started playing for the first time. And that to me as an older version of my younger self is something that I take very seriously. When can you tell you're playing a great guitar? I can kind of tell when I do that. Just the low A string, how the string rings out, how I can stop it, how I can start it, how I can get the raking sound, how I can get that tubby neck pickup sound out. I always like to pick up a guitar and just start with the most basic thing. That's when I can tell a guitar is good, from just that amount of playing, that the strings will go with you the way you want them to, that you've got high end, that you, this is the high end, this is the low end. You hear how there's high end in the low end? All the great harmonic high end information is in these pickups in the SE. Feel-wise, it's hard to hear because you'd have to have your hands on the guitar, but guitar players can sometimes hear the way something feels, and I'm going to try to show you for the first time ever how something feels based on hearing it.
Hear how that feels? 